Day of Remembrance for All Victims of Chemical Warfare Even though chemical warfare has been used since ancient times, it wasn't deployed on a large scale until World War I. During this war, several different chemical weapons were used with horrible effects on the soldiers exposed to them. Since the First World War, chemical weapons continued to be used in one form or another around the world despite them being banned by both the 1925 Geneva Protocol and the 1972 Biological and Toxin Weapons Convention. Chemical weapons have caused untold misery all through history, and that's why the United Nations has made the Day of Remembrance for all victims of chemical warfare an annual event observed every November 30th. On this day, all efforts to rid the world of chemical weapons should be intensified and all past victims should be honored. This annual event was created on November 11, 2005 during the United Nations 10th session of the Conference on the State Parties. This day was created following the suggestion by the Director General of the Secretariat, Rohelia Further. Another one of further suggestions, erecting a monument at The Hay to remember all victims of the chemical warfare was also approved. April 29th was initially chosen for this holiday, but that was changed to November 30th in 2015. On this day, the general public is asked to give a moment of silence to all of the victims of chemical warfare that has occurred throughout the world and throughout history. People also spent the day visiting some of the monuments dedicated to the victims of chemical warfare, with the most notable one being at Tehe. This is also a day for governments and international organizations to renew their commitment to ending chemical weapons once and for all.